people of the internet, it is I, Knuckles Productions 360, and welcome back to another figure review. Today we are going to be taking a look at an old figure today, it is the Jazzwares Metal Sonic figure. This came out uh, sometime uh, around 2011 um, or 10, uh, but yeah, here's the, uh, the figure. And uh, yes, we're going to be taking a look at this, so... Yeah, so here's, here's the packaging so far, uh, you can tell I got this guy on eBay, uh, yesterday, and yeah, he came and, uh, yeah. So on the front you can, uh, see there's the Sonic the Hedgehog logo, the 4 Plus, and it's been taste, it's been, uh, it's been safely tested, so that's good. And, uh, you can see there's a Jazzwares logo down below there, um, the logo, and there's the figure, and then if we turn it around, uh, there's the Sonic Generations artwork, and the logo, and some other miscellaneous stuff. But yeah, in this review, I'm going to be covering the figure, uh, the, just design of the figure, and, uh, yeah, the recommendation, and how you can get one of these. So, uh, let's get started then. Okay, so here's Mel Sonic out of the packaging. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. So he comes with, uh, this stand right here. This is what most of the Jazz was because came with. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't recommend putting them on here. Uh, my one just doesn't really work, to be fair. Um, but, yeah. So, let's just get that out of the way. And, uh, yeah, get on to the main figure. So... The Metal Sonic sculpt is really good, so I'll talk about the sculpt first. It is really damn good. I mean, this looks like it came straight from the games, and uh, you can tell um, a lot of it. It's, uh, it's got its metal shine, which is something that I think Metal Sonic figures should have nowadays. Um, I feel that they don't have this sort of thing. I mean, if you compare it to the Tomy Metal Sonic, this is the modern Metal Sonic that came out. Um, he just, they just use grey and it doesn't look shiny or metallic and the paint's a bit odd and his pose looks really goofy. Uh, but this is like, this is Metal Sonic. And yeah. And speaking of the paint job, uh, I actually think the paint job is really damn good for this figure. The metallic and design of it all just looks perfect. Um, I love his jet engine. Um, and then they even did something which not many Metal Sonic figures do like the Tomy era did, uh, they painted the back, end, the back engine, which is something that a lot of figures miss out on, see that, tell, the back engine is just not painted, which, it's a bit annoying, and, uh, yeah, but I am glad with the, uh, Jack Specific one, they painted the engine, the colour, and I'm glad. So, um, yeah, so besides that, the articulation for this guy is insane, you can move his arms all the way around, you can move his shoulder pads, which that's cool. Uh, you can move his head, that's quite cool. And his knees and feet. But this figure is very, uh, vo very, I'd say, delicate. So I wouldn't, so if you're gonna play with this guy, just be kind of careful with this. And he also has wrist movements, which most Jazzwares figures do have. And to be honest, I think that's awesome, well, aside from Charlie, but yeah. And, uh, I think everything else just looks brilliant with this guy. The only flaw I have is probably the eyes. Now, it's probably due to the way you're watching this video, um, but if you see right here, you can kind of tell that, yeah, his eyes are quite faded, so if I kind of pull it back, it looks fine. But it's just, often in some angles, you can't really see it as much. And this is the one thing I think I prefer on the newer Metal Sonic figures, that you can actually see his eyes. So here it is compared. Just maybe if they maybe made that bit lighter, then it would have uh, made sense. And yeah, I just think that is. And here he is compared to, well, the other figures. Here he is compared to Tommy Metal Sonic from the Sonic official line. And here he is compared to the Sonic Boom. Metal Sonic, the really terrible one. Here he is compared to a fixed classic Metal Sonic that I made with metallic paint. I have a lot of Metal Sonics. And here he is with the Metal Sonic that I'm currently uh, customizing. This is the Jax uh, Pacific Metal Sonic. And yeah. Here he is with uh, all the Metal Sonics. I have way too many of them to count. 
And uh, yeah, I suppose I should show him with Jazzwares Sonic. So here he is with Jazzwares Sonic. And I actually think he looks pretty damn good with Jazzwares Sonic. And uh, yeah, so the way you would get uh, these figures you could get Metal Sonic in um, quite a few numbered the packs. You could get him in a single pack, which um, I'll show on the screen right now. And then you could also get him in a uh, an Eggman and uh, Metal Sonic uh, pack, where he would basically just be with Dr. Eggman. And yeah, I actually think that's quite cool, actually. You know, and he even came with like a little lab playset. Uh, I don't own that because it's very expensive to find um but yeah i own these two figures so yeah that's cool so you're probably wondering how can you find one of these metal sonics well metal sonic is quite hard to come by he's one of the rarest jazz Wars figures um outside of well, blaze and maybe big um but yeah i he would roughly go for something around 50 to i uh, to 100 pounds or, or dollars depends on uh, what region you're from so um yeah so it's, he's quite expensive uh, i managed to get my metal sonic uh, for a little bit cheaper um but yeah he's very rare so i would uh, suggest if you're looking for this guy keep checking ebay until when something pops up but uh, if something does pop up it'll probably be very expensive uh, another thing I also don't like with this figure is that when he stands up, uh, you can see he kind of sort of leans to his left, like that, and he has like that going on forward, um, which is just really annoying. But, uh, you know, it's just a flaw, so I can live with it. But besides that, that's, uh, that's the Metal Sonic figure. I think he's a really damn good figure. He's very good for posing and customizing. And yeah, so make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, thanks for watching guys, till the next video, see you guys next time, bye.